This is Sean with Gate City. We're back out here on a job where we installed a drainage system two and a half years ago. And so I'll put a link to the, the video from this project, but keep in mind this was like two and a half years ago before I got g better at making videos. So anyway, we caught a couple gutters. We did a French drain back here. Caught some gutters around here. She's had all this concrete put in. Had the steps put in. And so what's going on here, there's so much slope to this property that in the crawl space, the water like just seeps out of the ground. And so I've been over here several times looking at it and I think it's just like subsurface water that's just making its way. So we're gonna be putting a sump pump in the crawl space today and I've got Jeremy and Ronald with me. They're getting stuff unloaded out of the truck right now and I gotta get into this crawl space here. For this sump basin, I've got 25 gallons of gravel. I've got a bunch of fittings. I've got a sump basin, got a sump pump right here. This is a Zola M98, really nice pump. Got a bunch of fittings. And I'm also gonna be extending a receptacle, adding a receptacle. So let's take a look at what we got going on under here. The homeowner had all of this gravel installed under here. And this part of the crawl space is like a huge bank that goes up and the water just seeps out of it. I'll show you that in a sec here. But we're headed over here to this low point. The homeowner had this junction box put in by the electrician and so I'm going to run off of that and install a receptacle over there by the pump. The first step in this sump pump installation is to get the basin hole dug out and so the guys are just digging out this dirt and dropping it in some buckets and then they're handing it out to me and we're just dumping this extra dirt in a wooded area on the property. So that's our first step is get this sump basin dug out. The homeowner had her electrician install this circuit for the sump pump that she knew she was going to install in here. And so he put in a 15 amp circuit on a GFCI breaker. And so I just extended that out over to where the pump's going to go. Now this is a Zoller M98 sump pump and it pulls 9.4 amps. So a 15 amp circuit is okay for that pump, but not a whole lot else. I usually install 20 amp circuits for pumps just because you can't go wrong with a little bit of extra amperage. But in this case, I've got a 15 amp circuit that I'm going to be using. The pump we are going to install is a Zoller M98. This is a really nice pump and it will pump solids too. So any debris that gets in there, it'll pump them right out. I know I've said it a bunch of times, but, but we always use pressure PVC pipe and pressure PVC fittings when we're doing pump installations. And so what I have here is I have a non-pressure fitting right here. This is a 90, inch and a half 90. 
and this is a pressure inch and a half 90. So let's take a look at the surface, the gluing surface difference. So take a look in there and you can see just how much more gluing surface the pressure fitting has to it. So don't use non-pressure fittings for pressure applications. I always try to set the pump up before we get it in the basin so it just makes it easier to work on the back of the truck here. Getting that male adapter and that check valve installed on that thing and then we can drop it in the basin and finish plumbing it. Alright, that pump is set up now. The manufacturer calls for that hole to be drilled right there before the check valve and any air that gets in there, that'll, that hole will let that air get out. So now this thing is ready to carry down there to the basin. Alright, I just got my receptacle plugged in. Got a circuit tester here. So that means it's good. It's not a bad crawl space to be working in. No, it's not. It's nice and cool under here. Yep. Sweet. My first day back. <laughs> Definitely a cool space. Yeah, we're going into that existing four inch. Are we digging it? If we if we have room, let's dig it and see how much that pipe goes down. Okay. Well, what do you think about coming off this side right here, off this this, this pillar, underground? Straight yeah. into it right there in front of the house. Or would you rather go inside the house and miss her flower bedding that she's got? No, I think we can go the shortest distance right in the front. Straight up right here. Yep. Okay. And Look. even if we can't bury it, we can cover it in pine needles. So I should be digging on that side of it. Okay, cool. Yep. You can do that. All right. You need to slide on over here for now. This is the outside of that shot you just saw. And the plan is to go into our existing drainage pipe that's already installed. And so we're just going to drop our inch and a half sump pump discharge line into that four inch PVC that we've already got in place. I'm over here looking for some hearing protection, but I don't see any in this truck. Usually I've got tons of it. So that stinks. Usually I have some hanging up over here or draped on the bucket or somewhere, but I guess we're going to be corn without it. After we got the pine needles pulled back, we got out the core drill and we're going to core through this foundation. It's just a brick foundation. And so that core drill will make a really nice, perfect fit for that inch and a half pipe to go through there. With as much fall as we had to the front sidewalk there, we could have done a gravity drain, but that would have been a little bit more expensive and it would have been much more disruptive to the front yard. And she's already got this front yard really, really nicely fixed up. And so we decided to do the sump pump and drop it into our existing drainage pipe. So that's what we're working on here is getting the, the pipe from the sump pump into the existing drainage pipe. We finished getting all this back together and got our pine needles back and it's always okay to use pine needles to cover up drainage solutions but remember don't use pine needles to cover up drainage problems only solutions looks pretty good after we got that discharge pipe into the drainage system then all we have to do is come down under the house and get the thing installed onto the pump so we've got a union in there and then we had to use a 45 and a 90 
to get into our pump basin. So we're getting that finished up here and glued up. We're going to test out our new sump pump, but we had to bring some water with us. Somewhere we'll find a way. Yep. Let's see the fruits of our labor. Yep. Jeremy, you're steaming. I don't doubt it, man. the nope that's good oh she's just good need, just needed some more water okay and having that that check valve way down low means there's not a whole lot of water that falls back in there right okay cool, cool. deal okay. right, got three or four points and it's non-structural yep three out of four ain't bad <sighs> i feel like that's a song you got what meathead said? Yeah. Meathead. <laughs> meat. Alright, we're all finished with the sump pump install. So all that water will come floating down to this low point and get evacuated. I wanted to show you where this water was coming in. It pretty much just oozes. See how see how thick that hill is right there? The water just like oozes out right here. And so it's not it's not any kind of rainwater or surface water, it's just water that's coming underground. And so it doesn't stick around long. And she had all this gravel installed here, so that sump pump will get it out of here a lot quicker. Alright, the guys are already out from under here, so let me get out of here. Alright, there's the pipe that we installed. And there's our 10 gallons that came out. So that's working really well. On the other side of the house, we've got our discharge right there. If you remember, we put this catch basin in and we caught that gutter and we caught a couple gutters on the other side over here. Oh yeah, this one. And I guess that one's going that way. So yeah, this looks a lot different from when we were here last. Looks really good.